Hey y'all, it's been a long Thursday. I have made a lot of money. I've also made a lot of friends on TikTok and YouTube today. I'm so happy and excited. I wanted to talk about, um, y'all, my speakers are like messed up in this car and I don't know why. It's a fairly new car. I have to get it looked at because it's really annoying. They make this obnoxious noise, but anyway, um, I wanted to go over the platforms that I do for for work or the ones I've done in the past that I don't do anymore um because I've been asked which ones get you in immediately so uber was immediate I didn't have a waiting list on uber um I was put on a wait list for instacart but it wasn't long and then spark <sighs> there's a huge waiting list now for spark but hold on <laughs> y'all I'm a mess when I started, there was no waiting list because I got in when it started, like in our area. I signed up long before we had Spark here. Um, and so, they accepted me pretty much right away because we didn't even do Spark yet. So, um, so as it stands now, I do Uber, which I love, Roadie, Instacart, and Spark. So, I have not talked that much about Roadie. I know I've mentioned a little bit anyone can sign up for roadie and there's no wait list on that um and for roadie it's so random like you get you get orders from everywhere any store can use roadie to have something delivered so i have done through roadie um uh, nothing but cakes i've delivered bunt cakes through them i've done walmart orders through them i've done tractor supply orders through them i have done home depot I think Lowe's maybe. Um, there's been a couple more, but I love Rody. It pays good. Oh, I've done CVS and Walgreens um, prescription deliveries through Rody. And then there's two doctor's offices in our area, or labs, I guess I should say, where you pick up like um, specimens, like it's blood, it's urine, stuff like that for testing, but they bag it up really tight. You never see the stuff. It's, you know, confidential, bagged up really good. And you just drop it at the FedEx store, and those pay like $18, and I think like every time I've done one, it's been like a mile. So, those are just some platforms that I do to make money, and depending on the city I'm in, I do all four. Um, I'll turn on all four every time I go to a city that I'm working in and just see what pops up. And it doesn't take me long to make my goal every day with four of those on now. Like I said, Rody and Uber, there's, there was not a wait list for those for me at least. And then um, Instacart was a short wait list and Spark was. It is a very long list. Now, I know people that have waited for six months or more. Um, I do know people when they sign up for Instacart or Spark that use zip codes from very large, very busy cities that don't have a wait list. And then once they're accepted, you just go in and change your zone. It's very easy um, to do. And so I know people that use 90210 for Beverly Hills, I guess, um, because apparently there is a huge, sorry, they're doing construction down here. I have to wait for them to let me go through. Um, I don't wear a seatbelt, you guys. I don't need any judgment this thing chokes the crap out of me so I just I don't I should I'm gonna get pulled over one day um anyhow but if you guys sign up under those um Nashville Tennessee is a big one those are the two I know about that usually there's no wait list on if you're trying to sign up for one of the um driving platforms you know I used my zip code because I didn't care if there was a wait list and I didn't really have, have to wait that long. But if you guys are experiencing like a long wait for those platforms, I'm trying to pay attention to this guy and talk to you guys, but just use those zip codes, see what happens. I know people that have gotten right in that way. Um, I do have referral codes if you guys want those. I think that we both get a bonus if you sign up under me, but I'm not sure. And I think maybe you have to sign up in my zone. I'm not sure, but if you want that, let me know and we'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't I don't care. It's not a big deal. I'm just trying to help you guys out if you want to do something other than the job you're doing now. Or if you just need to make a little extra money for Christmas, this is the time, y'all. I can tell you from August until December, 
these platforms blow up. That's when I make the most money because obviously like Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, um, you know, and then New Year and Valentine's Day people order a lot too. I have got mosquito bites, y'all. These mosquitoes are out for blood and I know that they do, you know, drink blood obviously, but they're out to kill me, I feel like. I went out with the dog last night and they attacked me, like attacked, like swarmed in on me. All right, let's see where we're going. I'm delivering an Instacart right now, but um, a sweet girl in the comments had asked me like what other platforms to use and what had a waiting list. And those are the ones that I've done. So I also did DoorDash from 2018-ish, 2017 um, until right after COVID. I was doing the catering orders um, during COVID and I had been doing DoorDash for like three or four years at that point. And I had gone to Zaxby's to get a huge catering order for the hospital that day. Well, you know, during COVID, they had all their stuff locked up. You had to call Zaxby's or go through the drive-thru. And the one in my area where this catering order was said, call us and we'll bring it out to you. There's no drive-thru, there's no lobby because of COVID. So y'all, I had this $110 catering order. It was paying me that much. And I called them and she's like, okay, hon, we'll have it out as soon as possible. And I sat and waited and waited and waited. It had been 30 or 40 minutes and DoorDash calls me and they're like, what is going on? The hospital has called us, like the doctor that ordered this for their meeting or whatever. And I said, it's COVID, their lobby's locked. I had to call, I'm sitting here waiting for the, um, you know, to bring it. And they brought it out finally. And I had waited an hour and 10 minutes or some crap like that. It was a long time. And I delivered it, you know, to the security officer at the hospital because you couldn't get in without a mask. You couldn't get in without an appointment. You know how stupid it was then, right? And so I gave it to him and I said, this is for Dr. So-and-so. And he's like, okay, cool, I'll take it. Well, their meeting was over. No one had eaten lunch during their meeting. They all had to eat after it. And he was mad. And he called DoorDash and complained and was so mad. They deactivated me, y'all. I had a five-star rating. I had all green ratings then. Um, I was making bank doing catering. And we're talking like 400 bucks a day, y'all, doing catering orders during COVID because no one got out. Everybody had stuff delivered. And I was mad because I'm like, you... I had a, I'm mad at them too at DoorDash because I had a perfect rating, you know, all it took was one person causing a stink because I was late and they deactivated my account. That story, the purpose of me telling you that is that any of these platforms can just let you go on a whim. I mean, there doesn't have to be a reason. You're a contractor. You're not an employee. You don't have any rights when you are a contractor. Um, I will say that that's the only time I've been deactivated. I've been, these other four platforms I've been on for, you know, five years now. And none of them have deactivated me. I, nothing's come close to being deactivated to my knowledge. I just do the best job I can do. But um, my advice, if you're thinking of quitting your job or doing this full time or, you know, doing this while you pursue your dreams or if you have a family member who's sick you have to take care of and this is your only source of income, multi-app, number one. Number two, don't do anything to cause a stink at a restaurant or a store. Like, just do your job. Don't complain too much. Like, when I first started doing Spark, the Bowling Green Walmart would make me so mad. I would be so mad because I'd be sitting there like an hour waiting for an order to come out. They were very slow. They were very new to it all, just like I was. And I was not a very patient person with them. I will admit that it was me being a turd. And it was during Christmas a couple years ago or whatever. And I was standing out, I was sitting in my car waiting. And this order was paying me, y'all, like $75. And I was like, I'm going to wait this out, you know, because it's during Christmas, during Black Friday. You're going to wait. You're going to sit in your car and you're going to wait. It's going to happen. Walmart pays you wait pay. They pay you to wait. It's 
now normally it's two dollars and fifty cents for every 15 minutes that you have to wait during christmas it's more they do increase it so i was sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting and the app was very glitchy at this time because it was newer you know and they every time they do an app update it crashes just y'all expect that if you do spark it's no big deal but it is kind of because you miss out on some money but anyway i was in my car waiting and waiting $75 order, I thought, well, whatever. And every half hour, you can cancel for a long wait time and take another order. Well, the same one kept popping up, so I kept canceling and coming back. And I had waited about an hour and 30 minutes. And this dude came out, and he looked so embarrassed and sheepish that worked at Walmart. And he said, ma'am, he said, I have to tell you. And they made me come tell you because I did it. It was my mistake. I accidentally put your order on another driver and they took it out so we don't know where it is he probably delivered it to the wrong house because we gave him the wrong order he was like so you're gonna have to cancel your order y'all I straight up lost my crap on this poor guy and it was so bad that I had to like give him like the most sincere and formal apology I possibly could because I lost my cool that day you know and that was not a common thing I'm a very patient person when it comes to these jobs because these jobs are literally a waiting game sometimes and you you have to develop some sort of patience or you can't do them effectively you just can't um and if anything you know doing this has taught me patience that I never had but that poor guy y'all he doesn't work there anymore but after that he, I don't he was always very nice to me after that still but like I'm embarrassed how I acted I was very new and you know I just got sick of waiting I'm so upset I'm hormonal it's no excuse but I'm in menopause I'm in pre-menopause it's no excuse but if you guys have hormonal issues you also understand that sometimes you just lose your crap on people and you have to say you're sorry um that's what happened so you know for anybody those are the platforms for anybody wondering that i do that was how much i waited to get on them um pretty much nothing but spark has an extensive waiting list right now um, because Walmart pays fairly. Let's just be honest. Most of the cities that I've been in, the zones I've been in, they pay a fair amount for the time that you're going to spend on an order, you know, without the tips. So, mm, I make the most money from them. That's my main source of income besides selling online. And then, you know, Instacart is second, Uber, and then Roadie. I don't do a lot of Roadie because I'm usually on an order when they send me one and I'm like crap I can't you know make it on roadie if you take it you have to make it within like 15 or 20 minutes to the store that you're picking up from or they'll cancel on you and so I've done a few I really enjoy it um the prescriptions and the specimen orders are so easy y'all oh my god they're so easy so that's just a little side hustle you know if y'all want to sign up for roadie there's no wait list it's just something you can sign up for um and do so but anyway this is my afternoon gig work explanation video i have worked so long today it's after two o'clock it's almost 2 30 and i started at 6 30 um I'm going to my last drop right now and then I'm going home and I have some sales I have to ship out. I have a couple of things I have to measure for people. This girl asked me, she said, can you measure this romper in the hips? So I, got, I have a wide ass and I'm like, yes, I can. <laughs> Bless her. I have one too, girl. Whoever you are, my ass is pretty wide too. I have the same problem. <laughs> but I'm going to go home and measure those. I have some jeans and some shoes I have to ship out. Um, there was something else. I was going to kind of take inventory of my winter stuff that I need to list because, y'all, I have a death pile from hell that I have to list. And it's mostly winter, winter items. I have a lot of really nice men's sweaters that I have to list um, pretty 
soon because you know people start buying that stuff sorry i'm about to turn into the customers uh, driveway here so you can. but people start buying that stuff right now i've sold a couple of winter items just in the last week because is that right i'm blind i can't see this dang road but it's right i'm already here um so it's time it's time for that people are going to start i sold two a pair of jeans I've sold two pairs of jeans this week, knowing that people are getting ready for, um, you know, jean season, and I'm ecstatic. They were pretty good size. Oh, I sold a cute dress too, y'all. I found a Valentino dress for eight dollars and sold it for fifty. I was really excited about that sale because I haven't even had that dress for a week yet. So, hang on just a second, guys. All right, I delivered that. That order was easy, so easy. So, I don't know what I was talking about. Stuff I have to list, stuff I have to get out. The dress I sold. Um, I was really excited about that. Cause it's beautiful. It's like this white lacy thing with like beads and sequins on it. It was so pretty, and I was like, crap, I gotta grab that. So I turned eight bucks into 50. I'm happy about that. Um, and I had to stain treat that, so I have to go home and get that ready because I had to stain treat it and let it sit a minute. It had one little tiny brown spot on it, but it came out. I guess nobody even tried to like take it out because I got it out really easily um, with Dawn and peroxide, Dawn dish liquid and peroxide. Um, that has gotten anything out for me. So anyway, um, I just wanted to hop on here and answer some questions about how to get started with gig work, you know, what the wait list was like and all that mess because somebody had asked me, so I just wanted to do that. But um, I wish all of you guys good luck if you're gonna, you know, sign up for any of these gig platforms. I've done it for a really long time, so if y'all have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and ask. Um, you know, I will answer anything I can. I have done this full time now for, it'll be six years after October, I'll be on, beginning my sixth year, I'm doing it full time, so. It's very tiring, and I will say that. You'll be in good shape physically. <laughs> it's, you know, I'm chubby, but I'm in good shape. I have, like, no problems with my health or my body or any of that. So, other than my hormones are a wreck. But that's, you know, just one of them things, you know. But, uh, and, I mean, I'm way better with hormones than I used to be. But I get out and I get sun and I get exercise. I get at least 10,000 steps a day doing this job. So, um, if you guys are looking for a way to get more exercise, to lose weight, make money, you know, get away from a 9 to 5, this is the way to do it. So, um, I am about to head home and I hope this was informative for you guys. If you have any questions, again, please just comment on this video. Let me know what they are. If you don't want to ask or you feel silly asking in front of people, y'all can message me. I don't, is there private messaging on YouTube? If not, y'all can go to my Instagram page. Um, and I'm on Facebook too. I don't, I guess I don't really care. I mean, y'all can reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram either one. Um, I need to put those in my YouTube information and I might just do that and I need to put my Poshmark and everything else in there so you guys can go look at my closet if you ever want to resell you can be like okay let me go see what she's doing here I've done that for seven years uh, Poshmark Mercari you know eBay um, I have Depop I need to list on there I just never have but I have a lot of vintage items that I'm sure would sell there I just I feel intimidated by too many options because I have ADHD and it's just hard for me to focus. Like, I don't know. I just have a problem doing so much at one time, you know. I get really overwhelmed. Um, 
and that's really the only reason I haven't listed on Depop yet. I've had it for a year and just never listed on there. I've just, just I don't know. But uh, anyway, if you guys have questions, let me know. I hope you had a good Thursday. Um, I'm going to upload this. I'll probably upload my PetSmart video when I get home and get on Wi-Fi because this phone is just an extra phone I have. And I have to be on Wi-Fi or I have to hotspot with my cell phone um, to be able to upload. And I just haven't felt like uploading anything besides my Instacart video today. So, um, I don't know if it helps to upload them all in one day or just spread them out. I've heard people that schedule videos, but I don't really care. I'd rather just upload them all and get them out there. So, um, anyway, I'm a rambler. I'm sorry. If you guys are still listening, I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That Pizza Hut looks like a wasteland. It closed down and like they boarded up the windows and it looks like Gary, Indiana or something over here. Like <laughs> the weeds grew up around it and it looks like the apocalypse because it just literally closed like two weeks ago for good. It's done in Portland, Tennessee. And I mean, it has grown up. It, it looks so scary, but anyway. Y'all go subscribe. Comment down below if you have questions. Subscribe, comment. I'm delirious from working too much, y'all. I'll see you on the next video.